What is minimally invasive surgery? With any surgery, the surgeon is going to have to make an incision in normal tissue and go through normal tissue to arrive at the area that needs to be repaired. In the case of minimally invasive surgery of the spine, various techniques are used to try to minimize the amount of damage which is done to normal tissue in the process of repairing the disc or the abnormality. These various techniques include number one, making a smaller incision. Smaller incisions are possible because of the development of newer technologies such as special microscopes for microscopic surgery and the development of endoscopic spinal surgery. Number two, as we go through the tissue, we no longer cut the tissue or remove the tissue, but we will dilate between the fibers. For example, going through muscle, we will dilate between those muscle fibers. Number three, we can now choose the safest and the most direct path. In the past, we used to always make the incision in the back, even though the disc might be in the front. Now we can choose the safest location and the quickest location to get to the area of pathology. One of the things that makes this possible is the development of real-time spinal cord monitoring. Spinal cord monitoring is a machine that maps out the health and location of nerves, allowing us to choose some of these various other paths. The development of specialized robots has advanced minimally invasive surgery because number one, robots always know their location in the human body, which is especially important when you're dealing in very minute and small areas or small incisions. And number two, a robot allows the surgeon to work safely and efficiently in a very small confined location. When you're working in a very confined location, you need specialized tools and implants, and also specialized medications such as stem cells and hormones that allow the surgical procedure to be successful. What are some of the advantages of minimally invasive spinal surgery? I divide the advantages into the obvious and the not so obvious. The obvious are less pain postoperatively, faster recoveries, faster return to normal activities, better results, and more reliable results. Some of the not so obvious advantages of minimally invasive surgery include, number one, we use the same size incision on everyone, doesn't matter how large the patient is. So this has remarkably expanded the number of patients that would be candidates for surgical procedures. Number two, less tissue damage overall. Less traumatic surgical procedures mean that older individuals can now have spinal surgery when in the past they may not have been a surgical candidate. Number three, smaller incision means less chance of a post-operative infection, less bleeding, shorter surgical time. And number six, with spinal cord monitoring and the various other techniques, overall it has made spine surgery a much safer and reliable procedure. Thank you for watching. Tell your friends and neighbors to watch. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any other questions, write to me at drsmith, elpasospinecenter.com. Thank you.